Hello everyone, this is Petey from Berserk Arcade at BerserkArcade.com and here I am today answering a few questions that I've been getting a lot of lately. So let's go ahead and we'll just answer these questions. So question number one, live shows, are they gone? Are they going to bring them back? Uh, what happened to them basically? Uh, well, my son is in daycare so I can start them back up. Now the days I can do it on are Monday, Wednesday or Friday. And the time was unfortunately going to be between 1 and 2 p.m. And this is the Eastern time zone. Uh, that's when he's in preschool so if you have a personal preference on which day you'd like to have it on go ahead and let me know down in the comments and uh, that could sway which day I'll actually have it on but uh, when I do decide to start them back up which should be in the next week or so I'll be posting on the top uh, on the website in the little gold bar at the top uh, so the next uh, the next tutorial for the hack and slash series I've been going over the code and there's actually a lot of things that I want to change. Oh, and there's another question I get a lot that I'm going to answer here is, um, are we going to be using NGUI for our game? Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, I've been going through the code. There's a lot of things I want to clean up as I go along, as I've been re-familiarizing myself with it. So I'm going to go ahead and actually start with that. Uh, just a few things like moving enumerations out to their own file, just little things. But um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and start integrating NGUI into it. Now, there's quite a few things that I want to wait till actual Unity 4 is out and available for the public before I start doing anything with it, uh, such as animations, because I just don't want to do them again. Uh, I know we left off, we're working with animations right now, but we can still work on the actual, I guess, the code base part. I just don't want to deal with the actual animations anymore until Unity 4 comes out, because, well, we don't want to redo it. Uh, new tutorial series. People ask me, you know, am I ever going to make another one besides the hack and slash one? Yes, I've actually got one done. I got one or two more episodes to record and then just edit and put it up. Uh, another one I get a lot of is, you know, should I get a Unity book or a C Sharp book? And to be honest, if you're one of those people that learn really well from reading a book, get one of each. Um, if you already know C Sharp reasonably well, maybe you are just new to Unity, then just get a Unity book. Uh, there's tons of them out there now, so I, I haven't read them all, so I can't really give a personal preference on which one's the best. But uh, yeah, if, you know, I don't see anything wrong with getting one of each. Uh, but anyway, that's it. That's just a quick update, and uh, well, hopefully we'll start the live shows up next week. But like I said, go ahead and let me know down below uh, what day is probably the best day for you. I know the time is horrible, but like I said, that's when my son is preschool, and that's when I can do it, at least for now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.